Hi everyone, welcome to this Twin Motion Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be looking at different tips regarding the reflection props. So first off, let me come toward my project. As you can see here, I've already placed two uh, box reflection probe, one of each side of my building to have some nice reflection into my windows, like we have here. The first tip is actually when you launch Twin Motion, the resolution of the reflection probe is quite small. And to change that, you need to come into the burger menu over here, Preferences. And here we have a tab called Reflection Probe Resolution. I think that by default it's set, it's set to uh, 64. That means that you have this kind of blurry effect, both in the viewport and at the export. When you change that, you can, ch you can manually change that up to 1024, which will give some nicer result, as you can see here by the new resolution we captured. How the reflection box probe works is that it captures an image at an instant T inside your project. That means that now if I, for example, change the time of day and switch to the night, my box has, are still captured during daytime. That means that I manually need to select my two probes and click either on update or just by hiding them and re-enabling them, it will recapture automatically the probe and now I have my probe captured during my night. Also, if uh, during your project, if you create a video which have a time-lapse effect, for example, like this, I have one keyframe that is during the day and one keyframe that is during the night. As you can see here, when I will export my video, by default, TuneMotion will capture the probe at the start of the clip, which will be in the day. But when we will switch to the night, the probe will still be in the day. So we have added an option in the preference under the export option, you can check the reflection update button. When you check that, it will update the reflection probe at each frame of your video. So it's quite consuming and the export time will be way longer. But if you, in just one shot like this one over here, if you want to have some kind of time-lapse effect like you have here, you can just enable this option for this specific shot and export all your other part of your movie without this reflection probe update button. Hope you find that helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to follow us for more content and see you for the next one. Bye everyone.